and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Halloween shop with me. I'm so excited to take you to Bath & Body Works and check out the latest on the Halloween line. It is July 24th when I'm filming this and I am about to head over to the stores. I'm so excited to see what they have. I've heard mixed reviews about the Halloween stuff so far, so we will see for ourselves in person. I feel like last year that was the same kind of thing. People were unsure if they would like the Halloween stuff, but honestly, when I went in stores last year, everything was gorgeous and exceeded expectations. So I'm excited to take you guys with me to go into the store today. We're going to my favorite store. They do the best displays, in my opinion, ever. So if you are in the Houston area, um, just comment down below if you wanna know where the store is at, because I will let you know. But yeah, let's go ahead and head on over to the store. All right, guys, we are here and I am so excited to walk in and see what they have for Halloween. So let's head inside. You guys, it's so surreal that spooky season is already here again, but I was so amazed when I walked in. These displays turned out amazing and the new scents really surprised me, um, especially this Moonlit Graveyard. They always do some sort of kind of like masculine unisex kind of scent every single year. And this one is no exception. It smelled amazing. Not really my taste, but I could see if you do enjoy that kind of scent. And they did bring Wicked Vanilla Woods back in just the hand soap. I think that's the only form that they have it in this year. Um, they might also have in the wallflower. We'll check that out on the back side of this display, but they also had the beautiful candle holder with her ring on. And I wanted to show you guys Spellbinding Sweets because I totally skipped over it. So I just paused it right here. You can read that. But I also cannot believe that my store had the haunted house. And we do get minis of some of the diamond shimmer mist. So that was a cool little find there. And then around the back was all the wallflowers and a lot more candle holders. So as you guys can see her ghoul friend, I was trying to show you earlier, but I couldn't, but it's this beautiful skull design on the lid. I thought that was so cool. And these are 26.50, so you'll have to wait for a good candle sale because I'm not paying that price. But there are some gorgeous, gorgeous wallflower plugins this year. I think they really stepped at the game. They have a mixture of everything. They have the cutesy Halloween, but then they have like an upscale grown up version of Halloween. They even have some things that remind me of Disney, like this Maleficent kind of cup. This goblet looks like Disney to me. So I think they have every something for everyone this year. I think they did a really great job and I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking so you guys can kind of enjoy the spooky goodness, but I'll hop back in later. Of course, we have Vampire Blood for the first time premiering in full size body care in a whole collection. We've got the body cream, the shower gel, the fizzing body lotion, and the fine fragrance mist, three wick candle, the single wick candle, the room spray. I mean, you really can't ask for much more. I think the collection, as far as the packaging, turned out really beautiful. I love the design they went with for that red rose. It looks just like Beauty and the Beast with that stained glass window. I think it turned out amazing. to the other body care fragrances from the Halloween collection. We have Everlasting Magic, which is more of a fruity fragrance. This is Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. Kind of reminds me, honestly, of Pink Velvet Cupcake, and I say that later on in the video. Um, but it is a little bit more sophisticated because it has some little petals in there with a little bit of an upscale kind of vibe to it. But I love the opulence, I think, of this collection. It turned out so beautiful and very upscale. 
And then on the back side of the layout here, we have a Midnight Spell, which is definitely more of a unisex vibe with a masculine tone to it, in my opinion. It's Mystic Air, Moonlit Woods, and Crystal Amber. I went ahead and paused that so you guys could see it. But I think it's really cute that they came out with the Sparkling Fragrance Mist, or the Diamond Shimmer Mist is what they're called, in the minis this year, because I feel like that's a really cute gift idea for little kids. If you have nieces, that would be so cute to put in their like little Halloween goodie bag or something. Thing. I feel like that's super adorable and a great little like prize giveaway or something and they do have this little like spider line I didn't show it but they have a three wick candle holder as well um, and that was actually all the Halloween I feel like it might be a little bit less than last year I don't know you guys tell me but it felt like it was less than last year even though we got three full-size body care um, fragrances same as last year I, it felt like a little bit less so maybe my store just didn't have everything in stock on the first day of Halloween um, but you guys will have to let me know what you think about the Halloween line this year but I will go ahead and show you guys some fall stuff because there's a lot of new candles and I went ahead and went to town sniffing stuff and had a really fun time just kind of being in the fall mood here so I'll let you guys enjoy the fall fragrances and then I'll come back on Now, you guys know I could not come on here and not talk about the fall preview. So we have Ivory Cashmere, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, Together Weather, Champagne Apple and Honey, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Sweater Weather. What a lineup, you guys. What a lineup. Honestly, this is the most beautiful fall packaging I've seen in years. This see-through version with the leaves embossed on the packaging, you guys... I want to buy every single scent in this line. It is so gorgeous. They even came out with some minis, mostly. I think they're just pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, and you know what? Sweet cinnamon pumpkin isn't even out yet. Um, but Together Weather it smells amazing. It is this wonderful, like, sophisticated berry scent. I feel like that's going to be my scent of the season. And Ivory Cashmere is back, which I know a lot of people loved. And they finally came out with leaves and body care, you guys. This is monumental. And of course, Fall and Bloom is back for those of you who like that one and Black Cherry Merlot, but just a wonderful fall line. Okay guys, we are back in the car and my store associates are just so sweet. And it was really only me and like a couple of other women in there and we were all shopping for Halloween. So that was a lot of fun. And I just went around the tables, took my videos, took my pictures, and I did get a little haul. So I actually got a pickup order. I got a coupon from my friend on Instagram, Bath and Body Love. And I will link her YouTube down below too because she also does YouTube videos. But she gave me a $7 body cream coupon. So it came down from $16.95 to $7. And I did pick up Everlasting Magic. It's a new scent. So I smelled it in stores. It did smell really good. It's Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. I'm just going to put a little on my arm while we're here so that you can kind of smell it. You can smell it with me. Is that Pink Velvet Cupcake? Okay, I'm going to have to go look up Pink Velvet Cupcake's notes and put it down below, but this smells like Pink Velvet Cupcake on me. And that was one of my favorite scents of all time. So if it is, I'm going to have to go back and get the whole set. I'm sorry, I'm just sniffing my shoulder over here. So that was my pickup order. And then in stores, I got a free item with my Bath & Body Works app. I had a reward and I picked up Vampire Blood in the shower gel. I can't not pick it up in its first year debuting 
in full size body care. So Vampire Blood is red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. The notes have not changed. And this is $13.50, so it was definitely under the $16.95 coupon. I just noticed this has a red lid. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. This is like a collector's item. And yeah, it just smells like vampire blood. It smells exactly, exactly like the candle and everything else. So if you liked that, you will love vampire blood. This smells so good. It's nice and fruity. And then I did pick up five pocket backs for $8. So I picked up a vampire blood pocket back, of course, a moonlit graveyard, which I didn't actually smell this one that much. It's kind of musky, a little masculine. I like that a lot. And then the other three were fall ones. I picked up a champagne apple and honey, a lakeside life, and a pumpkin pecan waffles because I figured I'd get one for fall time because I'm actually almost out of pocket backs and the only ones that I have left are Christmas scents and I don't want to be using Christmas during fall. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did go through some of the fall stuff too just because honestly it didn't feel like it was that much Halloween. I don't know if last year maybe they spread it out a little bit more but it didn't seem like it was as much Halloween as last year. Maybe that's just me thinking that though, but I'm really happy with the body care that they came out with. Three full size um, body care lines is pretty awesome. So that's everything for today's video. Let me know down below if you guys have shopped yet for Halloween or if you're looking forward to it, then what are you looking forward to getting? And that's everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.